Good day. We're going to continue with LO1, video 2, linking business functions of your organization with the supply chain function or supply chain functions. By the end of the video, you would have a very clear understanding of the relationship between the supply chain functions and a host of business functions that you find in your enterprise, right? Marketing, sales, production, distribution, you name it. So let's start with finance. Finance is an integral business function for many organizations. Now supply chain or the supply chain team cannot function properly or effectively without the involvement of finance and vice versa. So let's start with an, start with an example. Finance is the budget holder. Without money, supply chains would not be relevant. So the supply chain team will depend on finance to provide that, uh, to provide budget allocation, and also to pay suppliers, paying them on, on time, right? Now, supply chain would also advise finance on many things. We may advise finance on on um, challenges we are having when we negotiate for better terms and conditions. In that some organize for some companies, when you now start doing business with them, they may not opt for 30 days net. We may get we may have to pay in advance. So we would communicate these challenges to finance so that they will have a better understanding. We would also advise finance on what is priority or which suppliers are priority. Yes, all suppliers are important, but we have strategic suppliers. And these suppliers must be handled carefully. Now, let, let's look at engineering. Engineering and supply chain department always collaborate. Supply chain would advise on availability. You would also advise on the, the standards that are available on the market or the standards that are not available. Engineers are keen on OEMs, original equipment manufacturer. That may not be available. So the procurement team would communicate that to engineering. And engineering would collaborate. And they would give their advice as well. Engineering would advise on, 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 on where you can source new material. Or which suppliers are, are now available and where, where we can source an item that might be difficult to source. What, what engineering would advise on a change in a standard. So there's constant collaboration. Let's look at marketing. Marketing and sales. They are the ones in touch with the market, with your customer, right? And supply chain function or the supply chain department may adopt certain strategies like pull and pull, pull and push strategies, sorry, which we'll talk about at some other time. Marketing would advise on what is selling, what is not selling, what customers are pleased with, etc. And supply chain will then respond. So, if a product is not selling well on the shelves, then the supply chain team will have to advise the supplier. And the supplier may change the product, may, 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 there may be some rebranding or some other strategy. So there must be constant collaboration between the supply chain department and, and these functions. There are many others there. You have R&D. You also have uh, the distribution department, the operations department. And there are times when they all come together in the form of a quality circle, brainstorming and trying to resolve problems. So as we close off, imagine that you want to make a product better. So you, so you will invite procurement, finance, marketing, everyone. And marketing says, okay, this design will not sell or this design may sell. Procurement may then say, I don't think we can find the material to get that design or maybe we can get the material so we always depend on each, on each other supporting each other as we go along thank you